Hey everyone, this is your reading for tomorrow, the 31st of May, 2022. For anybody who is watching, it, anyone could resonate with this reading. It's not for any specific sign. You might resonate with it, you might not. It's okay, it's just a daily reading, okay? It's a fleeting energy. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. We have the Ten of Wands. Oh, someone's about to dump a bunch of burdens. As soon as you dump the Ten of Wands, you get the ace of wands it's like something transforms and you get out of whatever's been holding you back keeping you stuck uh keeping you blindfolded and bound here it's like you release something when you release that bundle of junk that was piled on your back here what else do we need to know just a quick few cards here for the the daily energy for anyone who is guided i mean so far this energy is pretty darn straight up the nine of pentacles reverse five of pentacles reverse absolutely all right you're also going to stop feeling so left out in the cold you're going to start getting your mojo back what is this about yeah absolutely five of cups reverse wow and six of swords six of wands victory all right, so you're going to overcome something here. You're going to leave emotional baggage in the past with the Eight of Cups. And you're going to overcome something with the Six of Wands. You're overcoming some heavy energy, really. Um, five of Cups reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You've been like this, feeling down in the dumps. Feel, well, I'm sorry, like this. Feeling a lack of confidence. Feeling insecure. Feeling completely in your head and stuck. And the minute you decide that you don't want to do it anymore and you dump the burdens, you get the Ace of Wands. It's that simple. This is the quickest daily reading ever. I'm just going to quickly grab a few um, tarot cards just to get a little clarity around it. We're going to use the Gilded Royale here. And we're just going to get a quick little peek. Spirit and angels, anyone, for the highest good. Just a little clarity, please, for this reading. For anyone who's guided to see it, what do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? What do we need to know about it? I just want to take a look at the Five of Pentacles reverse with the Nine of Pentacles reverse because I almost feel like... if It feels like a, a feeling to me because of the Five of Cups over here. A disappointing, very heavy energy. Um, it feels like that. Yeah, and you're walking away from the emotional junk with the Eight of Cups there. So it feels like this is emotional and it's just you feel drained. But it could be actually financial as well. That's why I want to take a look at it. What do we need to know about this? Um, reading, please, for anyone who's guided, what's most important? For anyone who's guided, what's most important here? Nine of Pentacles reversed and Five of Pentacles reversed to start. Oh, that's way too many. I'm going to take it all that. Nine of Pentacles reversed. What do we need to know about it? Yeah, it is financial. So it has to do with your Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So this might have to do with um, something about money then. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, this money was blocked from you. So nine of cups reversed and the eight of wands reversed. So this was blocked and stopped from you. Could have been a, a Scorpio involved with the death card reverse. Could have been a Capricorn with the devil. No matter who it was, they were up to no good. The death card, the, the devil and the seven of swords, it's getting exposed. Um, something about them. They could have lied. We have the Queen of Swords reversed here. You could have been dealing with someone who lied about something. And when they did, they blocked your money. They could be a strong Scorpio or a Capricorn. They could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. They could really be anyone. Um, let's get another couple cards here. Tell me about um, Eight of Swords reversed. What about Eight of Swords reversed? This is that moment the clarity comes to you or you get the information. The Strength card. So you could be getting the information um, or you could be being released from a Leo or getting the information from a Leo, something about the past and someone who betrayed you. So this person, you could be getting um, information. Yeah, look at the clarity with this, the uh, Seven of Cups in reverse. You're going to get clarity on something that this Leo did to you in the past. Wow. 
or the info or the information comes to you from a leo okay so keep that in mind um let me get one quick card on the strength card can i get one card on the strength card three of swords came out reversed as soon as i asked but i didn't really get the question in yet tell me about the strength card what do we need to know about the strength card why is it here what do we need to know about it strength card sagittarius okay so we have temperance we have the sagittarius card this actually looks really good so um I feel like this person could be bringing in information possibly about a Scorpio that was being kept from you. Again, the Eight of Swords, right? Something about a Scorpio who did something to you. There's some kind of truth going to come out about this. Um, let's get a little peek at the... I want the Nine... No, I'm sorry. The Eight... No, why am I saying these numbers? What is wrong with me? It's like I'm subtracting. Um, I want to get a card on the 10 of wands it is it's like i took the 10 of wands and the ace of wands and i subtracted it and i wanted the nine of wands um i what i really want to know is why we have the 10 of wands and the ace of wands reversed because i know when one when we drop this we're getting this but i want to know why it's um why do we still have the 10 wands showing up here why is the Ten of Wands here with the reverse Ace of Wands? Why? That's way, way too many. Can't do that. Give me just one or two, please. Uh, okay. Page of Cups flew right out of the deck. Is this the new opportunity? I need to have one more, please. Ten of Wands with the Ace of Wands reverse, please. Wow. Whoa. The Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. It's beautiful. Along with the Page of Cups. This is really nice. So is this... It's like you fought for so long and finally the battle is going to end as soon as, like this is your, like you've got this one last thing. What is it? But you're at tens. You're at ten of wands. You're at ten of cups. You're queen of cups. It's beautiful. And your ace is already coming in. You're at nines and tens. Um, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten everywhere I look. Um, you have the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups, and the nine of... I thought you had the nine of wands. I must be adding or subtracting again. I don't know. I could swear you had another um, nine. Okay, so you've got the, um, yeah, the nine of cups, the nine of pentacles. I don't know why to me, I, I guess it's this one. Feel This always kind of feels like the nine of wands, like the wounded warrior. But the to me, the seven of wands wins easily like they it takes down all these people um so whatever's been going on whatever burdens you've carried these are leaving there's like all this new energy trying to come in for you um tell me about this five of cups reversed the king of cups reversed flew out the ace of cups came out and the five of cups again reversed came out i'm going to put them back in because i mean i didn't even get the words out and it flew out just in case that means anything. All right, so let's take a look at the Five of Cups reversed. We just want one or two cards on the Five of Cups reversed. So there's something here that, yeah, look at this. The Moon and the Eight of Swords. You have felt overwhelmed and, again, trapped, blindfolded, bound, stuck secrets going on you've been kept out of the information you weren't giving any and now we have some kind of something coming in for you that gets you out of this stuck energy and it has something to do with a fire sign either a leo or a sagittarius tell me more about this strength and temperance it's like the strength and temperance i don't know if it's a person or an energy comes in and it like frees you it's your new beginning, Ace of Cups. It frees you from something that's held you back and held you stuck and kept you from being able to move forward. 
what is it? It's an offer. It's an apology. It is a, whatever it is, it's a new beginning. It's beautiful. It's Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Look at this. I mean, it doesn't get much more, much better than that. And it's being brought to you courtesy of the divine. Like, and it, it's also victory here. And it also takes you away from anything that has kept you stuck in a, and stuck literally in something very emotional that you now get to walk away from. I don't really understand what it is that you were stuck in. Can I have more information on the? It's like you were stuck. Yeah, you waited so long for this. Seven of Pentacles just flew out reverse. What is this Nine of Cups reverse with the Eight of Wands reverse that kept somebody, it kept whoever I'm talking to in the uh, Five of Pentacles? What, what was this all about, this Eight of Wands reverse? What was it with the Nine of Cups reverse? It's like something very draining, something unhappy, something. I just want you to see this. The King of Pentacles reverse, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody who betrayed you financially. This is what has kept you so stuck. There's been some kind of financial betrayal with the King of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of of pentacles reverse and betrayal this person was stealing from you or something they this is somebody from the past this is somebody who was doing and the sword of truth coming out look at this so here let me show you this so wow really all right so somebody who was betraying you and doing something to take right they're from the past and then someone gets to see it from another perspective, sees them trying to take from you so they get to the truth and they make a decision to bring the money in. I just, and this is what gets you out of the five and this is what brings in judgment, right? This judgment could be on three people. Okay, didn't we have, did we have three people that in the beginning of this reading? Three of, three of wands. I don't know because I just did another reading. No. Okay, so I don't know what this is. It could have been could be anything really but if i keep going back i see the seven of swords back here i see the hermit getting to the bottom of it in reverse um here's what i really see so i see someone who is taking advantage financially um and i'm not going to go any further back than that but what i do see is that there's a new beginning coming in. This information is either going to come in from a fire sign who's a Leo or a Sagittarius, most likely, but doesn't have to be. They're just, they're coming through this strong energy. Or this has to do with the strength you had to get yourself out of the trap that you were in and into a new beginning. Okay, so this might not have to actually do with a person. It could be your strength and that could be the divine with the temperance card coming in to say divine timing brings you this victory and this new beginning. Because whatever this was, there was a financial drain that's now going to be, there's going to be a new beginning. New beginning, Ace of Cups, new beginning, Ace of Pentacles here. There's something about blocked information that kept you stuck. I mean, really stuck. Uh, like you, stu stuff was being hidden from you. You were, be you were being kept in the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Um, and we have here this gorgeous new energy coming in where you'll dump the, the wands and get the ace of wands and look at it it's all because of what you fought so hard and took everyone down there could be a, there's more new energy with the page of cups this also could have been you protecting your child i'm getting and this is all whatever you did you were stuck because of something some kind of financial drain and some kind of block now listen could this have been your own block sure it could have been um, let's see if we can find out. I want to know more about, because, but because I see this, this betrayal from this man, I feel like this is someone who betrayed you financially. I keep seeing it. Secrets were kept and this is what kept you stuck. You weren't being given all the information. You certainly weren't being given the money. So how does this change? What causes the turnaround here? It's like you overcome something and you're able to walk away from something that was keeping you stuck. The King of Swords reverse, the Page of Swords reverse, the Ace of Cups reverse. So what is it that changes everything here? I, there, we ne I never see what actually happens to change this. And it's right here that I need more information. What changes this situation so that this happiness and joy and freedom comes in? 
It's like almost like financial freedom comes in. Oh, that's way too many. Come on. Seriously. Just one or two. What happens that changes this, this circumstances here? Well, absolutely. The Fool and the, the Six of Swords. So do you take a leap of faith and you move forward? All right. So here's what I see. I feel like someone in the past really did a number on you. And after they did, it's kept you stuck. And now you're starting to get like you're you're bringing in your own new cycle by pulling on your inner strength, working with spirit for a divine timing, getting yourself out of something that's held you back way too long. And you're going for new beginnings. And look, this is a lack of confidence and I won't take a leap of faith. And then in comes taking a leap of faith and moving forward. Um, overcoming the blocks, which is part of the strength card, overcoming whatever's held you back. It's been emotions. Emotions have held you back. So this reading really doesn't have to do with the actual person coming through for you. This is you coming through for you. It's like you get in the boat, you get on the horse, you get in the boat and you move forward. You take the leap of faith. There's big cards here saying you're going to just make a big change. This is going to lead to so much happiness for you, whether it's you and a child or just you whatever it is it brings in a lot of happiness for you when you do whatever this is it's like you're going to leave some old emotional baggage in the past this could be all metaphorical by the way i hope this helps somebody nice reading i mean all this new beautiful energy coming in it is quite amazing let's get you some cards here some angel cards angels what do we need to know from the bottom please what do we need to know balance i like it and okay we got two we got an, a blank one we're gonna throw that back we got balance responsibility and birth brand new that's exactly what we're saying so you're just doing this you're taking responsibility for your own life and going to get your own balance back and you're going to take a leap of faith into the new this is someone who goes right into the unknown and does it with strength and courage and follows the call of the divine right there listening to whatever the divine is saying and having the strength to follow through and go get your new beginnings and they're good they're, these new beginnings are like the best ace of cups ace of pentacles let me know guys if you think this is your reading you are going to be very happy if you're the one doing this it's going to lead to nothing but happiness it really is there's so many good cards that came out for you i mean really good cards um cards of joy and happiness after being stuck and withdrawn you get into this high vibration you let go of and this new beginning is coming right in for you the minute you take the leap of faith this ten of wands falls off your back and you go into the ace of wands and the transformation that's where that transformation comes in i kept saying where does the transformation happen and i wanted to see the transformation that's what happens it's like you stop holding back. You stop letting anything weigh you down and you just take the leap. It's going to be a big deal and it's going to be very victorious and you're going to leave a lot of baggage in the past. Anyway, guys, do let me know if you think this is your reading. It's beautiful, really beautiful. Listen, sometimes we think we've already done this, but we've only half done it, you know? So maybe there's still more steps to take that are, that are going to help you completely release something that's been a long time coming. Or... Maybe it's not your reading, but for those it's for, I am really, really happy that it came out so beautiful. Guys, please do comment down below. Your weeklies are out, your monthlies are out, the dailies are out. Please enjoy them, all right? Okay, guys, have a good one. Don't forget to hit the like. It helps the channel, and I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye.